Saturday. Right. So it'll be short because it's just coffee, which I don't have yet. Hopefully everybody can hear. A few minutes late because of some technical difficulties. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Suzanne. Gloria, you found me. Yes. Few minutes late because of some technical difficulties. Let's see, Monica, Ryan, lots of people. Good. So, Second Cup Saturdays, our first edition. I had planned to be at a different cafe today. Um, I have a lot of cafes to choose from, but uh, because of all the virus stuff that's going on here, um, it's possible they're going to start making things a little more difficult. And so, we had to do some shopping today and so we did a little ikea run this morning and there was some traffic coming back and so when we got back into the city um, i just came to another cafe that i love a lot um, which is called peregrino and it's one of the uh, third wave coffee houses in rome so they kind of have like fancy coffees they source the coffee themselves so they're not just using like illy coffee or some of the big brands they go out and source the coffee themselves. Um, so yeah, I come here a lot, but uh, it's not where I planned on being, so I have to go to the other place um, at a different time. And so good, everybody's here, and it's morning, so you can actually drink with me, because when I do the Tipsy Tuesday, it's a good drinking time for me, but it's probably way too early for most of you to be drinking. But coffee, you can have coffee anytime, I guess. And so that's what I'm waiting for, is my coffee because I just ordered it. and uh, anyway so um, the whole point of the second cup Saturday wasn't really to share stories but more just give updates on what's going on um, in Rome in Italy with me and so the big news right now is that we're having I don't know if I would call it a second wave just yet um, but the viruses the cases are definitely going up and um, look at the coffee's coming. Yes. Yes. Uh, red cappuccino normal? For you? That's yes. it? You like it? And red cappuccino. That's it. You're welcome, sir. Sugar? All right, so I ordered a big cappuccino. And just so you can compare, Christina's here too, but she doesn't want to talk. This is the normal size. So mine's like a double. And some people might say you should never have cappuccino after 12 o'clock or so. Really nobody cares. So the Italians don't care. At least not the ones that I know. So I wanted a cappuccino and I wanted a big one. And so that's what I got. And you can see, I don't know if you can't see, you can see they do the little cappuccino art. And you, can you see that? I think you can see a little bit. Anyway. So good. This place uses really good milk too. Yeah, it is It is an American size cappuccino. And it's really, really good. Some people are saying hi to me. She's waving. But she's not gonna come around, she's just laughing. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, the virus. Yeah, so we had uh, 10,000 cases yesterday. Now they're doing a lot more testing. I know you in America, you hear that argument all the time. Um, a lot more testing than they were you know, months ago, so it's natural that they're getting more cases, but it's going up a lot every day, even though they're doing kind of the same amount of testing. And some of the hospitals are filling up again, and there's more deaths. And so, so there's talk of not really a quarantine or a lockdown, um, but they are talking about tightening things up a bit. So um, I think today they recommended the high schools 
do remote learning again, and they've, they're also encouraging work from home more. Uh, I don't know if any of this is like official yet. Um, the other thing they're doing is um, maybe encouraging restaurants to close earlier, uh, bars closed by 10. Um, they're trying to do all they can to avoid like a serious quarantine like we had before. Um, so I guess they're just doing things slowly, slowly. Uh, my kids, their scout stuff was canceled. They had this big thing this weekend where they graduate to the next level of scouts. And so that's something they planned for months and months. And things have been going so well that they thought they would be able to do it. And so, you know, they were supposed to be leaving today for an overnight camping trip. And it was canceled last minute. So just hours early before they left, they decided to, I guess, postpone it for when things are better. Um, so that's how the virus stuff is going here. And so that's why this morning we made an Ikea run. So Ikea for us is like a one hour, one and a half hour bus ride from the apartment. We don't have a car. And so it's a big to do to get um, to Ikea. Monica, do we have vaccines? No, we don't have any discussion on how long that's gonna take. That's good coffee. So, um, yeah, when we got stuck in the last quarantine, there's stuff that we really wish that we had had. Like, I don't have a desk, so all the work I do, I'm usually early in the morning, I work from our dining table, but then once everyone else is up, that becomes the, the classroom where the kids are, and Christina's teaching. And so all the work I do, all the writing and stuff, it's all at like a, a bar table in our kitchen. So it's not very comfortable for working. And so one of the things during the quarantine is like, oh, I really wish I had a desk and a chair to sit in. And so that's what we went to look at today was some kind of desk and chair. And then the other thing we really wish we had during the quarantine was coffee because um, I missed like cappuccino because all the bars were closed. And so um, when the quarantine ended for us, I went to uh, this Nespresso shop and we got a Nespresso maker because that's super easy. The coffee's really good too. And so we've got that covered. Um, we did have like an American coffee maker, but it wasn't that great. And then we have a mocha pot that doesn't really work on our stove. So we're just trying to get prepared in case there is another lockdown. So is everyone having coffee? Um, I get really excited. So when we were coming back into town, I knew I wouldn't be able to go to the cafe that I wanted to go to because it's a little further away. And, uh, oh, Gail's asking about Ikea. So if you, if you get stuff at Ikea here, since we don't have a car, they'll deliver it. Um, so it's just a flat fee, no matter how much you get. We didn't buy anything, um, but we, we might order something online. Anyway, um, when we were coming back in, I was thinking about that I wouldn't be able to make it to the cafe that I wanted to take you to. And then I started thinking about all the other cafes that I love, and I got really excited because, um, like Tipsy Tuesday, I try to take you to different bars and have different drinks. Um, but uh, I love cafes a lot more, and so I'm really excited about all the cafes I can take you to and show you them. In fact, the one that we're in now, I didn't get to show you because they didn't have any room, and so, there's a restaurant next door that's owned by the same people, and so they just took us in in here to sit at a table. So I don't get to show you like the fancy coffee makers, because like I mentioned at the beginning, this is a um, like a third wave coffee place. What third wave? Is that what it's called? No, it's not second. It's third. I think it's called third wave coffee, but I might be confusing that with like quarantine talk, virus talk. I think it's called third wave. Anyway, it's like fancy coffees. They do the, uh, they have the pour over stuff and they have the, um, the thing that looks like a science experiment where they put the coffee in and it's siphoned up and then it comes out into a cup. But I just got the cappuccino. Uh, ooh, Sandra says Nespresso is, in Texas is running two to three weeks behind. That's sad. Um, Let's see, having coffee. I thought about doing, actually Christina said that I should do the, 
the first um, second cup of coffee, second cup Saturday is from Ikea. Uh, so, oh, Dee's having Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna block you, Dee. We miss Chick-fil-A. Um, yeah, so I thought about doing the coffee from Ikea, but that didn't. So, anyway, what else to talk about? What else is there to say? I don't know, we just kind of ran here. I will say this, so what I want to talk about coffee culture in Italy. Because a lot if you've never been here, it's kind of weird. And even if you have been here, maybe you don't know. But if you go to a cafe, usually what you do is you go up to the bar and you tell them what you want, like a cappuccino, or espresso, or whatever. That's the other thing. When we're doing these coffee lives, I'm going to order different coffees so you can see that Italy is not just Americano, cappuccino, and espresso, but there's a lot of other types of coffee you can get. But anyway, what you usually do is you go to the bar, you place your order, and they're called bars here, um, coffee bars. And then you take the receipt up to the barista, and then they um, make your coffee. And if you drink it at the bar, it's one price, so like at the tabletop standing. And then often if you sit, it's more because you're paying for table service. Um, but then you can sit there for as long as you want. Uh, why do we wear masks outside? Because it's the law now, we have to. So that started just uh, a week or so ago for Rome, and then a few days ago for all of Italy. So masks are now required inside all public places and outside everywhere, which I think is kind of ridiculous. Like last night I was going to pick up pizza and there was nobody around me, it was dark, I was outside. But I still had to wear a mask. Um, I kind of get it, I guess, if you're in a crowded place. I get the concern more. Um, but we don't have a choice, so we have to. Have to wear masks outside. Uh, they're also restricting, like, home visits. So if you have people to your house, I don't know how they police this, but if you have people to your house now, you can only have so many and they are required to wear masks. So again, I don't know how they would ever police that, if they're just gonna go knock on people's doors or something. Uh, but that's the rule. And of course, on public transportation and taxis and all that, masks are required. Uh, if they have a quarantine, will your son be allowed out? Yeah, if he has a US passport. Um, when, they, when they stopped the flights initially, Americans were still allowed to go home just weren't allowed to uh, come back unless you had, like, official business. Enjoying news in the background, yeah. <laughs> uh, mask laws are unenforceable, maybe not in Italy. So we don't have the same rules, or the same constitution you have in America, so they can't enforce things here that they can't enforce there. Uh, any no-nos about ordering coffee? So I mentioned I ordered cappuccino, which some people say you're not supposed to get afternoon in Italy. Um, but really, most people don't care. So I guess you could say that that's a no-no. Um, but I've never had anyone like roll their eyes or shake their head or whatever. Even like cafes that know me that would be comfortable telling me don't do that, um, they don't have a problem with it. I wouldn't always get cappuccino this late though, especially not a double. It's definitely late for me. I probably won't sleep. At least sleep well. Uh, Daniel asks if I ever see Chandler and Phoebe at the coffee bar. No, I don't. Not here anyway. I did see them in, in LA though. I was telling Christine about this the other day. I saw when I worked for Warner Brothers, I visited the set of Friends. This was. 1999, I think. And so we saw when they were filming Friends, we saw like the cast, some of them. Gunther was there. So we did see them there. But no, I don't see them in the cafes here. Uh, Laura asked, what's my usual coffee order in the morning? Cappuccino. I'm like a cappuccino guy. So pretty much everywhere I go, I'll get cappuccino. Um, sometimes later in the day, I'll get an espresso. Uh, affogato, I've never had that. So that's with um, ice cream, gelato. Uh, my dad loves to get those, but I've never had one. Um, 
in the summer, iced coffee is really good, Cafe Fredo. And in fact, the place we're now, the uh, Pergamino, you can see the, the name of the place here. It might be backwards for you. But they, uh, they do a really good uh, nitro coffee and they have a really good iced coffee and iced tea. So there's a lot of options. Um, what other questions here? Am I eating anything with coffee? Nope. Just coffee now. Sometimes I'll get a, a pastry. But a lot of times I'll get coffee and depending on where I am, I'll get it to go. So if you've ever been to Italy, you probably know that to go coffee is not really a big thing, but they do do it. Uh, most cafes have to go cups. And I like to take coffee to go and go sit somewhere scenic. I like it in the cafe too and hear all the the noise. I was hoping you could hear like cafe noise, but they have a set of table in a restaurant. Um, Richard asked what time it is right now. It is almost four o'clock in the afternoon. Rose asked, does Italy have brunch? There are places that do brunch type meals. Um, what you will find though is like a lot of Italians like to have big pranzos, like a big lunch that takes hours, like maybe on a Saturday or Sunday. Um, but there's like a really good French cafe nearby and they do a great brunch on the weekends. We go to some sometimes. Um, macchiato later. I do like the macchiato too. We're gonna go through a lot of coffee over the next few months. A lot of different kinds of coffee that I can share with you. And some places, the ones that I know well, I'll actually take you so they can show you how they're making the coffee. Not this place. I was gonna do that. Can't. Um, so do you still sit at the bar and then go sit at the table? You can do that, uh, depending on where you are. And sometimes you pay more if you sit at the table. Um, yes, that's the French place that I was talking about. The weather in October right now, it's a little, it's, it's like jacket weather. So it's, it's very pleasant. And we've had a few days of rain, um, but it usually clears up within an hour or so. Rome, we get like big, heavy downpours and then blue skies. So I love the weather in October. The leaves are changing. Uh, Christina's gonna make a cappuccino. Yes, she should have a cappuccino. Uh, my girls have not had their coffee listed yet. So that's something we're doing at uh, Santo Stacchio. Um, we need to do that. I'm gonna try to make that a, either just a video that I'll share or a live. Uh, I have been to Madonna di Monti in Monti. So I'll definitely be going there for one of, my, one of my coffee things. No word on the opening of travel. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we're just starting to tighten things up. So there's more requirements on certain countries flying in here. Um, I think it's the UK and Belgium, a few other countries. They have to test, I think, before they can leave and then test again at the airport. And so there's definitely no talk of opening things up at the moment. I wish there was. Uh, Father John, yeah, most people would have espresso in the afternoon, um, but I wanted a cappuccino just because I did, and so that's what I ordered. Uh, a lot of people also get like a macchiato, so they get espresso, not like at Starbucks. So at Starbucks, it's like a shot of espresso and a lot of milk, but here it would be like a shot of espresso and just a drip of milk. So some people do that, just kind of soften the, uh, the espresso. Uh, Pizza Florida, I've never been there. Uh, four and later, it's ha Italian happy hour. Yeah, sometimes they would, they would start drinking, maybe a little later. Um, but I couldn't really do it Tipsy Tuesday at four o'clock because it's so early for some of you. <laughs> it would be weird watching me drink when you're still having breakfast, probably. Uh, Melody asks, are masks still mandatory? Yeah, I talked about that earlier, but yeah, we have to wear masks outside now. Um, it's the law. 
Um, so they can fine us up to, I think it's a thousand euro uh, if we're caught without a mask outside. Um, and from what I've heard, like, that's not, they don't just walk up to you and hand you a ticket, they tell you to do it. And if you fight them, then they will give you a, a ticket. And yeah, we're having about 10,000 cases a day right now. Um, Percentage-wise, it's a lot lower than it was back in March, but it's still, you know, it has people nervous. Ooh, the Italian hot chocolate. Yeah, that's way too rich for me. Um, but a lot of cafes have the Italian hot chocolate, so my kids sometimes get that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, cafe latte. My kids drink that at home too. Uh, Kathy asked when was the last time I was able to come to the U.S. That was in February. And my wife and kids, their last time was Thanksgiving. So it's been almost a year, which is terrible. And we could go back. Like, it's possible to go back. Um, but it's just a big hassle because if we went there, even though we wouldn't be required to, like, quarantine from our families, we would want to just because... Just in case we pick something up, we wouldn't want to give it to our parents. Um, and so that would mean like staying in a hotel for a couple weeks without a car, or having to rent a car, whatever, I don't know. And then coming back, it would also be complicated. And to be honest, we didn't think that it was going to take this long <laughs> for things to get better. Um, we thought, oh yeah, by spring it'll be all normal again. Oh, by summer it'll be normal. By fall. And now it's like, oh, maybe by 2025 things will open up again. Oh. Sitting across from me if you missed that. She doesn't want to be on camera so she's just drinking coffee. Uh, Nelson Little. Is, is testing mandatory for all? No. We don't have to be tested right now. Um, and only certain countries flying here are tested at the airport. Uh, Laura says, Sancho Stacchio, they do sell their own espresso pods. And Illy Coffee makes espresso pods. Uh, we've been getting just the official. We have the Sancho Stacchio ones, but we've also been getting the official ones. Because there's so much variety. I usually make the Lungo. I like the Lungo version. And then the machine that we got also makes the Americano, so it adds some hot water. I don't drink that one then. Uh, Richard's asking about the churches closing. So as of right now, the churches here are all still open. The masses are still going as usual. There's no restrictions. I mean, they still have like some seats blocked off. Uh, so there's like, I guess restrictions on how many people are allowed, but there's no reservation system or anything. My dad goes, my dad says he has to go talk to, or he has a student. Um, there is talk though, the bishops of Italy have already said, that if needed, they're ready to close down the churches again, which I hate, because that was really hard last time. Um, but right now, there's no talk of closing the churches. There is talk of a Christmas quarantine. Um, I don't know if that means just like no travel between regions, or if that means uh, like completely shutting down for the week around Christmas or something. Uh, Kathy asks about absentee voting. Yeah, we did that the other day. Um, so we already, we requested our ballot and we shipped it off. Um, you love watching the videos, thank you. I like making videos. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll wrap it up. My coffee's empty. I told you I'd keep it to, I think I told it said 20 minutes, but half an hour still. So I'm going to wrap up Second Cup Saturday. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll definitely do this every week. If we're quarantined, I'll be coming to you from my kitchen with my little Nespresso cup. Um, but anyway, that's it. So I'm going to wrap it up, and... Go home. So, hope you enjoyed it. Ciao. Christina says bye.